The Pentagon has reported spotting a suspicious Chinese balloon a size of three buses flying over the United States. China has stated that it is only a weather balloon that entered the U.S. by accident, but the U.S. military remains confident that it is on a spy mission. The U.S. China Today will provide insights into the Pentagon's approach towards the recently detected suspicious balloon and reveal the experts' prediction on reasons behind China's choice of using a balloon for surveillance rather than a satellite. Join us as we delve into this issue. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, I am sitting in my driveway here in Billings, Montana. And right now, there is a ground stop on our airport. And this thing is up in the sky. According to Pentagon spokesperson, Brigadier General Pat Ryder, a high-altitude balloon was detected flying over the Billings area in Montana on Wednesday, January 1st. The balloon's flight path included a journey over Alaska's Aleutian Islands, through Canada, and finally into Montana. He said that the United States government has detected and is currently tracking a high-altitude surveillance balloon that is over the mainland United States and that they will continue to closely monitor it. However, they have no intention of shooting it down at this time. There is a reason for this, which we are about to reveal. In response to this situation, the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, immediately gathered for a meeting with several high-ranking military and defense leaders to review the threat posed by a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon. The meeting included the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, and the Northern Command's Commander, General Glenn Van Herc. During the meeting, the leaders carefully considered the threat profile of the balloon and various response options. In the end, they decided not to recommend shooting it out of the sky due to the potential risk to public safety and security, as the debris field from such an action could cause damage to people and structures on the ground. The decision and recommendations were then presented to President Joe Biden, who had been briefed on the situation. A senior administration official confirmed that Biden received a strong recommendation not to shoot down the balloon. The U.S. determined that the balloon did not pose an immediate threat and therefore it was allowed to continue flying. But if the U.S. is confident that China's balloon is on a spy mission, why are they using seemingly outdated technology like a balloon? The U.S. Department of Defense stated that the balloon is located at a significantly higher altitude than where civilian air traffic is operating. Meanwhile, other experts see even more advanced reasons behind it. China expert Benjamin Ho and Arthur Holland Michel from the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs have the same prediction that China may have even wanted to be spotted in the first place. Michel said China might be using the balloon to demonstrate that it has a sophisticated technological capability to penetrate U.S. airspace without risking a serious escalation. According to the BBC, other experts predicted that balloons are less expensive, but able to be equipped with modern technology like spy cameras and radar sensors that are necessary for a spy mission. Its slower speed allows it to linger and observe the target area for prolonged periods, as opposed to a satellite whose movement is limited to its orbital path. What about China? How did they respond to this incident? On Friday, the Chinese Foreign Ministry confirmed that the balloon was from China and had entered U.S. airspace by accident. The statement explained that the balloon was a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, and had deviated from its planned course due to the weather and limited self-steering capabilities. China's spokesperson also expressed regret for the unintentional entry of the airship into U.S. airspace and will continue communicating with the U.S. to properly handle the situation caused by force majeure. However, the U.S. believes that the Chinese spy satellites in low Earth orbit are capable of providing similar or better intelligence. Therefore limits the value of any information that could be gathered from the high-altitude balloon, which is the size of three buses. According to a senior defense official, the balloon does not add significant value over what China is able to gather from its satellites in low Earth orbit. Pentagon spokesperson General Pat Ryder is confident that the balloon is being used for a spy mission. 
At the moment of reporting, the balloon continues to move eastward at an altitude of around 60,000 feet with the ability to maneuver, but does not pose any threat to civil aviation yet due to its altitude.